In this video, we're going to try to pull off the ultimate finesse and attempt to outsmart an online gambling website in order to come up on a quick bag. Okay, so if you haven't heard of Rubet, it's this online cryptocurrency website that has little games on it that you can put real money on. And it's been gaining a lot of popularity, specifically thanks to a game on there called Crash, in which you place down a dollar amount into this Crash game and a multiplier pops up onto the screen and just starts going up. Now, as it's going up, you can get out of it. And let's say I press the get out button when the multiplier said 3.5x. That means I multiplied the money I went in with by three and a half times. So if I put in $100, I just got out with $350. Sounds amazing, but before you empty out your 401k into this, here's the catch. If I didn't get out and tried riding this multiplier higher at any random point, this little rocket can crash. And if you're in when it crashes, you lose all the money you went in with. So in this case, I would have lost $100. Actually, I actually had a friend a while ago suggest that playing this game would make for a great video idea. And I was like, no, no way. That's just pure gambling, not doing it. But there's been a new concept going around, a new wave of people talking about how their strategy to this game and that it's almost similar to trading stocks. Whoa, that's a very bold comparison to make, but there's a lot of people on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch that have been posting, showing their crazy wins and how much money they've made on it but I'm not buying it. So in this video, we'll take $1,000 and try out some of these strategies. Is there really a way to finesse the house with this game and exponentially compound our investment, turn the $1,000 into $50,000 in a few hours? Or is it all a bamboozle and these positive videos are made to just rake in on that affiliate commission? Only one way to find out, let's try it. This video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm not associated with a Scratch website and I most definitely don't recommend people try it. Unless, what if, what if we do find a winning strategy, but in that case, I'm sure they'll patch it or whatever. So I'm not endorsing this by any means. And now that said, let's try this out. I actually attempted going on the website before starting to film this video, and I couldn't really make an account because I guess it's not allowed where I live. So I had to download a VPN to spoof my location, which is where the sponsor of this video comes in. Huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. I downloaded some sketchy free VPN, put my location to Canada, and we were in. I then had to transfer some Bitcoin onto this website. So I went on my Coinbase account, was reminded that I should have bought more Bitcoin when it was at like 3K just a few months ago, but not the point. I bought 1K worth of the coin, transferred it over to the website, and then here we go. We are ready to go in for the first time. Okay, so I first wanted to figure out how the system worked. Again, the concept here is pretty simple. You place some money into the game, the game starts, and you can exit whenever you want and multiply your money by the amount on the screen. However, the game can crash at any point and if you're in when it crashes you lose all the money you went in with but before we got into any strategies i wanted to just test it out randomly okay bet amount 15 dollars place bet all right we're in this okay that was rude but let's try it again I'm trying to cash out at 1.5 percent just to test out the system and whatnot okay i do consider myself an entrepreneur let's try 15 dollars one more time before we get into the actual strategies i'm gonna try to cash out at 1.5 once again or should we write it you know what never mind let's actually go ahead and get into the strategies that i've been reading up on the first one is called the martingale strategy and so it goes as follows you basically start betting with a low amount so let's say a dollar and every time you lose you double the amount you're going in with so if i go in with a dollar i lose i then go in with two dollars if i lose i then go in with four if i lose four i go in with eight and i keep on doing that until i win very big and so in theory if i keep on going the big wins should outweigh the little losses so we'll go ahead and try that so we'll start off with a bet amount of one dollar said the auto cash out the video i watched had it at four so let's do that and we'll wait for this game to be over and try it on the next one things started out pretty smoothly with the strategy here it was slow and steady up until we got to this point which is where i kind of unfortunately got what i wished for and we got into some real action kind of want to lose a few times in a row just so we can keep on doubling and actually have a solid amount of money on the line let's see okay 2.7%, I'm doubling it to $2, oh, to $2, okay, okay, 128 times 2, I, I don't know, I'm gonna go with 240, I know that's wrong, but you gotta be quick here, I don't know, starting to get worried here, if we don't win this one, we already lost 50% of our money in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. But <clears throat> so at this point, we already had lost half of the thousand dollars. And in order to continue with the strategy, I had to go in with the rest of the money in the account, which I really was not confident in. So I sat out and watched what would have happened if we did continue the strategy. And it turns out we would have blew the whole account on the next turn. So I'm glad we stopped there. Okay, so that didn't really work out, but I'm gonna give this Martingale thing another try. But instead of having the auto cash out at 4X, we're gonna do 2X. And same thing, start with a dollar. Because since the start of this video, it has been getting past 2% a lot of the time. So let's try that out next. So with this new plan, I was doing the same thing, doubling our bet after each loss. But now instead of trying to take profit at 4X, I was going for 2X, which was a lot more reasonable. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm kind of vibing with using this Martingale strategy, but having the cash out at only 2x because it does hit 2x pretty frequently. So I think this might not be the worst idea. I also realized I didn't have to do the doubling math in my head and that there was a double button, which was very convenient, but I wanted to fully test the strategy out. So I popped on a podcast and tried doing this for about half an hour and things went really well. We got from 487 to $584 in the account in the first half hour. I then got some food and we continued using the strategy and eventually after about 40 total minutes of playing, we were at $736, which was really promising given that we were at 480 less than an hour ago. And just as things were looking up, we hit a few losses in a row and given that this strategy has you doubling your bet amount after each loss, we were at a point where we had to go in with the entire account. And we lost, bringing our account total to $85, at which point I didn't have enough money in the account to continue with the strategy, so I just tossed the remaining balance in just to throw a Hail Mary, see what happens, and we lost down too. Wow, I gotta say, worst thousand dollars that I've ever spent. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. So this strategy can work in the short term, but ultimately in the long run, all it takes is one losing streak to blow the whole entire account, unless you have an infinite amount of money in this account or you're going in with very low starting bets. But I just discovered that there's an auto section on this website and it's advanced enough to where we can actually program our strategy and have it be done automatically. And in that case, if I just left it running completely passively and it's at least turning some profit, it would kind of be worth it. And also if I can have this thing running for like another 10 hours, it would really put this Martingale strategy to the ultimate test and we'd have a much better conclusive answer if it's possible or not. So I loaded up another $100 into the account, which came out to 98.76 after fees. Got out a different laptop. If you remember why I got this computer in a different video, you're a real one. I appreciate you. But I logged into the account on this one, set up the automatic Martingale strategy to where the bet amount would start with 10 cents, and I hit start. So that's that. The auto system is currently running. It's a bit laggy, but it is running. I'm gonna let it run all night. And if it works and we're profitable, I'll continue running it. Maybe even put in some more money. We'll see what's up tomorrow. Kind of really hyped to see what's gonna happen. So again, my thought process here was that if we set the starting bet really low, it's gonna take a ton of consecutive losses to blow the entire account. I did the math and in our case scenario with a $100 count and a starting bet of 10 cents, it would take nine losses in a row, doubling the bet after each one to lose all of the money and get to a point where we can't continue the strategy. The profits we would make with such a low starting bet wouldn't be worth sitting here and doing all of this manually, but if it's on auto, it made sense to try it. And I mean, nine losses in a row, that seemed pretty unlikely. However, I underestimated the finesse level of this website because here's what happened. So there you go, that did not work out either. I was actually still awake yesterday when this account was blown and was able to film it. I mean, looking back, if the website literally gives you the option to exercise the Marengale strategy automatically and different strategy variations, then they probably are well aware of what those are and have algorithms in place to make sure that they don't work. Overall, these losses were almost kind of expected because if there's a way to reliably win against the casino online, that casino would be broke and it wouldn't make any sense for them to run their business. So do not get fooled by all the videos online of people showing their gains with this game. Those people probably are not posting and flexing about their losses. Honestly, if you're thinking of using this website, download the Robinhood app instead and day trade some stock options. Also risky, also a good time, but at least you have a lot more control and opportunity for strategy with that. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me lose $1,100 in a couple of hours and can now see the negative side of such websites, contrary to what a lot of other videos will show you. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.